Hi guys, my name is Shannon and you are at the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about how I use TPWD fishing reports to glean information from those reports that crosses over into fly fishing. If you guys have been subscribed for a while, you know that I used to do these reports almost every week. And it would be, a, you know, either I'd talk about certain spots that were hot or I would scroll it all at the end and you could slow down the scroll and see what was going on in your neck of the woods without having to go to the website or any of that stuff. Entertainment, it was not. <laughs> so, the reason I quit doing that, there's two things I want to tell you about. Number one, the reason I quit doing this is because, well, about two years ago, they started putting names of guides in these reports for their areas that they reported on. And before that, it was it was a little bit inaccurate. Texas Parks and Wildlife, uh, whoever's doing these reports, would bump everything up about one notch. Uh, so that if it was called good, it was really fair. If it was called fair, it was really poor. If it was great, it's fair. You know, so you took it all one notch down, it's more accurate. Put the guide's names in there and everything probably goes up two notches. It became less and less accurate in my opinion and became more and more of a uh, chamber of commerce exhibition. So I, I quit doing that. I quit showing that stuff. But here comes number two. Um, the number two thing about this is this information will translate from conventional to fly. All you have to do is know how to read it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at some screenshots on this. We're going to we're going to kind of analyze the situation. And whether it's fresh water where you're trying to figure things out in your your particular lake or a lake nearby or whether it's the Texas Gulf Coast, which is really interesting because you can find trend trend lines along the Texas Gulf Coast every single time every single time there's a trend line whether it's in the bait whether it's in the action whether it's in the the water temperatures we're going to look at water temperatures it's november we're going to look at the water temperatures i'm going to i'm going to show you something that's very very interesting about texas gulf coast water temperatures and this the most current report end of november 2023 so let's go to these the screen grabs that i did and this uh, this information there and i'll show you where to look what you want to do, besides like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, of course you want to do that, I mean, why wouldn't you? You want to go to the TPWD site and click subscribe there and you'll either get a text message notification or an email telling you the reports are out. Those reports usually come out on Thursday for the weekend, you know. It might come out on Wednesday, <laughs> it might come out on Friday. It just really is kind of random, but mostly Thursday. Um, you know how the government is, so you've got to take it with a grain of salt. Guys, this is pretty good information, so pay attention. Watch where I'm kind of running with my cursor here, and then we will, uh, if you got any questions, I, I get a lot of questions on why I didn't continue this report, these weekly reports, and this is why. You just heard it. You heard it from me. Um, and now, what you can do is go on your own, look at these reports, and you decide how accurate they are. Let's take a look, guys. All right, guys, let's take a look at this. So you've got good conditions in Sabine Lake. I highlighted that. And you're looking at, this is the region, okay, Gulf Coast region. You're looking at these temperatures. You're digging it. You're digging it. Yeah, yeah fair conditions. Fair is... Uh, below good and then we start scrolling down watch those temperatures pretty inconsistent which can be two different things either they're accurate or they're not probably accurate and inconsistent this time of year because the cold front's passing through there's your names of your guides see yeah, just in case you're looking for them now we get down to south padre island port mansfield port isabel look at the water temperatures 70 degrees on the, the most southern two points of interest. What makes it kind of weird, makes it not right, look at Mansfield, only 20 miles north, 13 degrees cooler. How can that be? Right above those two, right above those two, Port Mansfield, take a look. Fair and 57. I don't get that, okay? So there's something wrong there. 
That is a brief run down the Texas Gulf Coast on the TPWD Weekly. This week, November, the reason we're doing this is it's raining outside. Here we go back. We're going to look. There's the email update right there. That's where you want to go to go ahead and sign up. Click on your region, whatever region you want. You're going to take a look. Looky here. Piney Woods region, okay? Slow. I believe that. Steinhagen. It looks, it gives you the levels and temperatures and all that. Good, Bob Salen. Da, 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 da. We're going out with Lake Fork. Good. And you look through these and you'll see the trend lines. You'll see whether it's a certain bait or whether it's a uh, certain speed. And all those things translate for you into what kind of fly and what kind of retrieve and what kind of depth. Look at some of the depths on these 40 to 50 feet. Not a chance in the world for a fly guy, really. Hardly a chance in the world. So that's that's crappie at 40 and 50 feet. Ah, yeah, forget about it. We're looking for depths around, ah, there we go, 12 feet deep. Not bad. Not bad. And then you can you can go ahead and look at other places. And you can make your decisions on these things based on if there's not a shallower bite, don't go there. Go ahead and, and cut your losses and go to a place that has a shallower bite. Um uh, and then skip out on this other stuff. So that's how I look at the freshwater game when it's the toughest time of the year in Texas, and that is the winter time. So there's that. Hold on. All right, guys, there you have it. That is how I look at TPWD fishing reports that come out every week, Texas Parks and Wildlife Department online. I get an email. I take a look at these, and then I can decipher from this what anyone can do with a fly rod at any of these locations or not. You know, there are those times when it just isn't going to happen for where you are. Just like today here in North Texas with this rain. It isn't happening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Texas Flycaster YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time.